que reconocemos su trabajo y yo quisiera preguntarte específicamente dentro de un ensamble ¿qué es lo que buscas en un contrabajista y en un baterista hablando de un trigo? Sure, I think that um, I like to play with people who um, play like themselves, you know. Um, in a bass player, I like someone to be a little cocky. If that, I don't know if that word translates, but like a little arrogant sometimes. Because with a, with a bassist, you almost want to know, like, they're pretty confident that that's where they're, you can rely on that, you know. And um, for drummers, I guess my favorite qualities are those who are really um, orchestral and musical as to their approach and not just not just technical and all that kind of stuff. Because again, it's it's social, so um, you're having a conversation, whether it's three people in a group or it's a quintet or, or um, uh, a little harder in a big band, I guess, but you know, um, when you're playing together in a group, you're going out to have lunch with them, you know, and it's, you're, you're talking with them. And so if there's a soloist, it's like, it's like if someone starts talking and then someone just interrupts you and they were like, uh, one thing I always hate is like, if I'm hanging out with someone and I'm telling a story and then they interrupt me to tell me their story, but their story is just that that happened to them too. <laughs> Does that, you might want to translate that, yeah. <laughs> should, should I, I could repeat it too. Okay, well like, um, uh, oh, you know what? I'll do it in Spanish. Tell me, tell me something that interesting that happened to you today. Well, I'm here. Oh, yo, tell me that. Bad, bad story. Um, you want to be listening to someone and then reacting to what they're doing.